What's up, y'all? I got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Messy Monday, drama alert, Trump ear blasted off. Quan broke up Rissa, Corey in legal trouble. Let's get it. But I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday. And you know what that means? If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock and then I'ma talk shit. I'm a sugar honey iced tea. Do you want to sell now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls. Let's get it. He made a great song for himself. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Okay, first and foremost, I want to tell you guys you made it through another week. I say that every video because I don't know if some of you are out there alone, single, have no family, no friends, introverted, whatever the case may be. I always want to motivate you to know that you made it through another week. You're here. Even if you have a lover and family, sometimes everybody's so I don't pay for vidIQ, but I got it. Busy. People can never take the time out to tell somebody you made it. So friend, you made it. I'm proud of you. We're here. Shouts out to you, okay? Keep going. All right. Now, girl, it is a whole lot, a whole lot of going on for people getting shot in the ear. Okay. Putting out warrants. Okay. People making their relationships break up. Child, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just here to talk about it. But before <laughs> I do, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Asia. <laughs> Bitch. Asia, thank you so much for having my post notifications on on Twitter. You were the first to comment when I said, hey, bitch. And I just want to tell you, I really, really, really love you for that. Because you want to know what I got to say. Even if it's just for Mr. Monday. Girl, you are here. So, shouts out to you. Y'all go over to Asia page. Show her some love. Retweet. Repost. Follow. Talk each other. Network. Whatever the case may be, y'all do that together, honey, because that's what we are here for, to be a Navy, because a Navy is a force to be reckoned with, and I love you, girl. Hey, bitch. Well, I guess it's time <laughs> to go on and get to y'all's favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar, honey, iced tea, because you girls love staying in some, some shit. shit. First for the sugar, honey, iced tea, we have Italy, <laughs> bit, bit, chocolate. <laughs> so, Italy, come sit down, let's talk about it. First of all, you want everybody. Last week, or a couple of weeks back, you wanted Coco. Before that, you wanted the other girl. Yeah, this, this, whatever, bitch, you want Glow. Who, who is it? Who, who next? You just always... Ooh, Italy and Glow, I'm here for it. Not for a relationship, but a little sex or something. Like, y'all, I'm here for it. <laughs> And he that did just stay on go. Let it sleep. When you cleansing, <laughs> drinking lemon water, you was eating mushrooms, and flying outside with the butterflies. Walking, <laughs> we just outside. Well, since you passing it around. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, uh, Gorilla had posted a picture on her Instagram and Emily Chopper saw it and this is what he had to say. She getting a little thicker, we see you. <laughs> That ass get fat now, Glow. We see what she doing now. She must have been on her oats. I don't know what she doing, but she getting there now. Hey. Hey, now. Hey, next time you see her, you got to let her know, man. Hey, don't man, you? I'm going to let her know, man. She about, to, she about one more picture away before I'm going to just, just there with it. So, Glow, in case oh, you didn't damn. know, you want, you want, you want. One more picture away before he there with it. Not waiting on another picture. It's crazy. Post away, you know what I mean? One man in them likes heavy. She won't mm. post away. Now, you know, this is not to be rude. How you want everybody, but you don't want none of your baby mamas? That is crazy. I think Coco wanted him in his defense. Coco ain't have to turn, look at him up and down like he was a piece of candy or whatever. She was interested. And he just showed interest back. I ain't never seen nothing like it, but. Hey, to each they own. So anyway, um, shout out to him shooting this shot at Glorilla. We're going to see what she say. Uh, <laughs> hey, Kiefer. You know what? Everybody's just outside. I think it's because it's hot. All right, if it ain't about me, and at least stay in heat. 
Next game. <laughs> Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have two. Like Come on, Zo. Probably about to get copyrighted for the BET thing. Fuck what you bought. Oh my god. Hey, Gucci, you definitely did it. Fuck you, me. Nigga, what about loyalty? I want you all of the things that you wanted. Like, don't fuck me. What about love? <laughs> don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. Come on, bro. Trust. Give a fuck what you got, damn, bought. Bitch, take it back. Take it back and take you with it. Men always want to do this when you finally do what the fuck they did to you. Suck it the fuck up! Did you say you was quitting music? Then you turn around and pop back out and say you got some shit with uh, the Rod nigga and fucking Kaylani. Bitch, you said you was done. All you do is lie. Probably didn't even buy her shit. Just lying. She is <laughs> lying. I never think he bought her a couple things. Whining and crying. She in and lying. He want to make an album every time he fucking cheat. <laughs> Should have been going to the studio in the first fucking place. Now you wanna go there now when you're single. But when you're one single, you was tipping out here and there. And we asked him, well, where's the music? Where's this, bitch? You know the fuck, what? Shut up. Making music like, <laughs> like she broke your heart. This man uh, went in the studio and turned that auto tune on, cause that shit make you feel like you hurt for real, man. Like, you whining and <laughs> You and your feelings with that auto tune come on, bitch. You talk about a heartbreak by naming everything that's materialistic. Nigga, he didn't name shit that make a relationship work. It just don't make sense to me. How do you provide and then cheat? I guess you his property, girl. I guess because he's buying you all this stuff, you're supposed to do what he say and forgive what he do. But anyway, let me leave him alone. He gonna drop all these singles for y'all because he cheated. He knows it's gonna make her come back. <laughs> he gonna push the album back. Y'all, did he cheat again? I ain't even know. Another year. Okay, anyway, well, if it ain't about me, he gonna keep cheating and y'all gonna keep waiting on to see. Uh -huh. Next with Honey Ice Tea, we have Rory and Carmen. And before I get started, there was somebody in the shake room comments that said, right message, wrong messenger. Well, let me tell you something, you dumb bitch. First of all, sometimes it takes a person who actually knows you to tell you that you fucked up. So you can shut the hell up and suck a mimosa out my ass with a straw, bitch. So now that we got that out the way with that... Suck a mimosa out your ass with a strazo. <laughs> the rat knows you to tell you that you fucked up. So you can shut the hell up and suck a mimosa out my ass with a straw, <laughs> bitch. So now that we got that out the way with that. It's the now that we got that out the way for me. Not sucking mimosas out of straws from your booty holes, oh. <laughs> That's a good one. I got to use that. I got to use that because some of y'all do be trying it. And it's best to tell him the truth. Corey tripping. That's why he quiet now. And I told y'all he wasn't going to make no damn video. Because he know. He think he in the deep hole now. Oh, shit. Let's go ahead and hand him the shovel. You know what I'm saying? Boy, boy, you through. Okay. All right. The raggedy ass piece of shit. Things are really starting to get heated between Corey and Corman, as we had mentioned last week. Corman had released her song. She explained 11, 11 a lot of things from Corey putting his hands on her to Corey um, threatening her a gun. Just so many things. Her not having money, all the YouTube money she didn't see, stuff like that. That man put his shorts up, came and instantly grabbed it by my neck and put me against the wall. And has you, if you ever been like that, you know you can't breathe, you can't talk. So I'm trying to just move, move away around to get this person out of me. Okay, so my, the time I'm, I'm... I ain't gonna lie, her story don't give a lie. And as far as I'm concerned, he keep kind of admitting it and not admitting it at the same time. Literally like, so if I did that, which I didn't. Yeah, you did. And even if you did do something like that, and even if I did do something like that, why would you stay with a person like that? Bro, you did it. You did it. Just say you did it. Say you apologetic for it. You know what I'm saying? Trying to move myself out, move my head or something. His hands are still on me, y'all. Like, his hands are still on me. 
this man's stronger than I am. So be for real. So this hand's still on me. So now by this time, I'm on the floor. He's picking me up. This man don't put me to sleep or whatever it was. I black out. I'm on the floor. Now when I come back to my says I open my eyes. I hear his gun clicking. I'm here gun clicking. You changing whatever it is that you changing. I hear a gun, a weapon. I'm on the floor. By this time, I'm in my bed, in the bed. I'm on the floor in the room. You feel me? I'm here. You coming out the bathroom with a gun. I'm not thinking at that moment, you loading the gun, are you not loading the gun, where are you? I'm not thinking of any of that. But it's the principle that you coming close to me with a gun. So now that I saw you have- You ain't even gotta say that principle shit no more. Do y'all know like every day, somebody is killing their baby mama. God, I said the wrong word. Somebody's unaliving their baby mama, unaliving their girlfriend. And a lot of times, it's it's been men here lately, a lot. They going through it. Couples in general are going through it. She has every right to be afraid. Had the gun in your hand, I got up, and the moment that I'm trying to get up, you pull me against the wall one more time. You put the gun in my forehead. You put the gun inside of my mouth, and you put the gun like inside of my head. You kept telling me to shut up. You say, "Shut up, Carmen. Shut up. I'm gonna shoot you. Shut up, Carmen. I will shoot these guys. Like, shut up, shut up." So what the fuck am I supposed to do? Am I not supposed to be scared of you? So Corey came back out and he was saying things like, oh, you and your family are in some serious trouble. Like just saying some wild off the wall shit like that was very threatening. So Carmen took it upon herself to get a lawyer. She has an attorney. Her attorney came out, said some things, saying, hey, we're gonna handle this. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. Corey had said something else. And then all of a sudden he's just disappeared. I haven't seen him on Instagram. I don't know if it's been taken down or what. Um, he has been going live on TikTok. He went live on TikTok and he voiced about the situation with him and Carmen and the abuse. And he didn't say that he didn't hit her. He just said he would defend himself if somebody was to hit him, which makes us believe he was trying to insinuate Carmen was hitting him. So he just protected himself. Sam. Kids, she don't have papers and all of that. Right. The real problem is that she is not trying to detach from me because I was her, her way out. She can say whatever she wants to say to y'all. Like, don't nobody know the real truth. You know what I'm saying? I done moved on. I done left her alone now. I'm like, you know what? I'm done with everything. Now you trying to come out and destroy me. I could speak on something that happened to me and I went and got some help and what was told to me. And they wasn't lying because she's literally doing exactly what they said she'd do. It's so crazy to me. But listen to this though. I got all the proof of her admitting all of this, right? Like, hold up. Realistically. Yeah, and um, hold up. And on top of that, the, the, the end something, I tried to get a divorce with this girl multiple times. I even filed my divorce already, y'all. She would not comply with it. So, like, if if this all true, let's just say if, yeah, he, he did everything that she said, right, all this stuff, why haven't you divorced me? And I've been trying to get a divorce the whole time. I've been trying to leave you. So Y'all, yeah, there's several reasons why he quiet. For one, he know. Uh, he losing right now. I'm talking about he's been up for years. Now he is losing that's number one. But number two, he's getting sued by the apartment complex he stayed in in Miami. He's getting sued by, or they just, he, the, the house that he was renting, they just got the judgment for him to pay them $16,000. Carmen's name is on it, by the way. And now he about to get sued by Carmen. Not only that, between him threatening her family, um, what's it called? What is it called? Revenge corn, all that. Yeah, boy, you threw. Um, so his best bet is to make some money, stack it, and get ready to pay off some people because he has really put himself in a whole entire hole. His um, Zo video was age restricted. I wonder why. Well, anyway, this might just have to go on Patreon. I can go on. 
who would stay with somebody, who would still be. And I'm just gonna show y'all the proof. Like, I wanna show it to y'all here because I don't want them tits. I'll take my stuff down. But, bro, when I show y'all everything, and when y'all see all of this, y'all gonna be mind blown. Y'all gonna be like, what the flying if? Like, I promise on everything I love. And I ain't even here, bro, to try to play a victim. Like, I never saw I was perfect. Like, okay, Corey cheated and all of this. Like, bro, come on. Like, all right, yeah, bro, I done grew up from that. And you know that. She know that. Like, you know, we was married, bro. We got married because I'm trying to help her get papers. I didn't know nothing about no marriage. I literally just found more out about marriage last year as I started getting deep into the Bible more. Y'all, he didn't show no proof because he ain't got none. Everything he was going to show was going to be degrading to her body and just degrading to her as an individual in general. But he knew without her even showing shit. Everybody took her side. If several people got in touch with him and he listened, boy, watch my video. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Don't do it. He probably is restricted. Because of this, I'm about to fortify. All right. And then when I realized, like, holy shit. He probably is restricted because of did something about 45, the former president. What? Yeah, Who like, was Cuzzo? Like, yeah. Like, are you saying cuz of AB? Because I don't think she's talking about the president. Like, that's when I went to repent, you know what I'm saying? Asking God for beginning and changing my life around, moving different, you feel me? So, when it comes to everything that we, we was doing, like, yeah, we both was in the wrong. And she wanted to do all of that just, like, bro, she admitted right here on this thing, on Tasha K interview but she oh, said, he that, she said well, okay, uh, we gonna skip do you that. like to do three she said well I like girls and all that she admits it so you gotta go back and just pick up all the lies and pick up the thing that she said which I'm gonna show all y'all this shit like dead ass like, cause, like I ain't got no choice but to do this now you play with me so like now I gotta really just go and show them but the real proof then she said, I black okay. her eye and all that. Yeah, when we got into a fight, and you, because you put your hands on me, and we got into a fight, yeah, and I didn't, and I'm gonna be under with y'all. Let me be 1,000% under with y'all. It would really blow me with this, right? I don't put my hands on you. But if you harm me, you know what I'm saying? Well, I have to protect myself, I will protect myself. And it's with anybody. I know for, I don't care what none of y'all say. Nobody can sit in here and let somebody throw something at them, hit them across the head, punch them, beat on them, and not, they're not gonna do nothing back to them. So when you try to say that I gave you a black card, a black eye and all this, don't, like, why are you on the internet making it seem like I'm just an abusive guy? Like, I just be putting my hands on you. Like, what? So, y'all, I don't know what's going on. This is just a whole lot, a whole lot. But looking at Corey in that video, you can tell that he's more toned down now. I think Corey's just surprised that Carmen has actually took it to this level of what he was doing. He's saying that he feels his Corman's trying to ruin him and whatever the case may be. But Corey, that's what you were doing to her. You were calling her an immigrant. You were saying, I would take your children. You were saying that she has nothing. You would have this, whatever, whatever the case may be. He's saying that he filed for divorce, but Corman won't. But I, this is me being smart. I think the reason Corman is not filing for divorce is Corman has some smart people behind her. Do you know when you are married? that when you get a divorce, I think she could take some of your stuff when you're married, right? Am I right or wrong? I don't know how that works. I'll oh, it ain't just about taking stuff. She got to make sure when she come out of this, she is an American. Or oh, however they put it. <laughs> however they put it for her. That's more important than stuff right now. She needs to be legal. Let me just say that. She needs to be legal. And she can get legal. It's a whole lot of stuff y'all been sending me. And listen, I didn't take this shit up in school. i not really understanding. But what I am going to say is, it's no way that she would be taking him to court and not um, potentially get that freedom. So I wouldn't divorce him neither. Not yet. I ain't signing shit <laughs> until I figure out what's going on. As far as I'm legally married to you. I'm good right now. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it either. Nah. I don't know if that has to have insurance. I don't know if you have to have like a prenup or something. But I think once you are wife and husband, don't you get half the stuff when y'all break up or when y'all have a... She... If she were a citizen, thank you, Kia. Um, she would absolutely have gotten half of everything. Or she probably could have took them for everything with that revenge corn. Revenge corn is very serious. Um, she could have took him for everything, but since she's not legal, 
Or she may be. Remember, DNB Nation said that she couldn't put anything in her name, but this house that they recently had that they got an eviction for because he didn't pay the last month or whatever, however it went, because I'm I will leave a place too. If I gotta go to my next place and y'all want me to pay y'all, I'll pay y'all later. I don't care. Call me whatever you want to call me, but I need to go to my next destination, especially if I gotta get out of this one. So anyway, I don't blame him for that. But why is Carmen name on the lease if she couldn't get nothing? Why would he put her on the lease anyway? Or maybe the house made her do it? I don't know. I don't know. But Divorce or something like that? Because if she was to sign it now, I don't think she could ask for anything in court because technically they're not, they wouldn't be married. But if you're still married and she shows that he's cheated in marriage, that's wrong, right? And now somebody said they want to have a baby in 2025 and marry like literally with a heart. So that means now you got another woman pregnant while you're married with her. I don't know. Y'all tell me how that works in the comments. I've never been married, so I don't know how it works. But I think Carmen is playing it smart. Girl, Let's everything. take it back to Damien and Bianca. Y'all remember when they came out saying everything about Corey and Carmen? Listen to this. I want to break up with Corey. And I just said, okay, well, just break up with him. She said, Damien, you don't understand. And then I was like, well, help me understand. And then that's when she, I, she was like, I want to leave him, but I can't. And then she said she felt trapped. I was like, okay. So she said she felt trapped. She said she she said that um, Corey could take baby CJ away. She said all the money in Corey's name, the house in Corey's name, all the cars in Corey's name. And I was just like, how do Corey have this much power? Remember, I'm sorry. Remember the house was the house before this last house that they uh i guess got evicted out of over you and that's when she said that i'm illegal i'm an illegal immigrant and i'm like i didn't know what to say but i don't even know how true this is this is what she said i don't have proof of this this is this is this is what she told me and then that's when bianca and the management they came outside and then uh, yeah, when i walked outside they kind of like just it like, was like awkward for a second like awkward for a second and like then, when like somebody kind of like interrupt your conversation yeah. it's like you know what i'm saying yeah so like when i walked outside she just started like apologizing and she was like i'm sorry if i acted like this you know earlier i'm sorry if i ruined something but i just like i didn't she didn't know how to respond with the court situation i guess so she was basically saying I so, Sheena, you just said if you rent, everyone in the house has to be on the lease, especially if they are 18 and up. Why she wasn't on the lease then? Something ain't right. I hope I didn't mess anything up. And then that's when she kept venting about how she was broke and about, like, even, like, the YouTube stuff. Yeah, she was, she was talking to all of us, and she was just talking about how she literally has nothing in her name. And, like, she said that she literally have no cars. Like, nothing, every, like everything... Like, Everything in his name, but yeah. she said she want to leave him, but she can't mm -hmm. because she said if she tried to, he gonna take baby CJ away and all the other things. And what mother want to get they? They babysit away. But, but again, we. This is what she said. This is what she. Yeah, this but is what I. She, said. she like I didn't hear her say the illegal thing. She never told me that she was illegal. But then again, there's no proof. There's you know no what I'm saying? Proof. So this is just what it came mm -hmm. out of her mouth. Um, but we have no proof. Yeah, I don't have of no proof. So. True. So it's like it may be, it may not be. We don't know. Yeah. So. So y'all, that all makes sense while we kept saying, Corman, why won't you leave him? Why won't you leave him? That is why Corman never left. She would have nothing. All that stuff was actually really real, but Corman would go back and clean it up. Because I guess Corey would probably, this is just allegedly speaking, Corey like, if you don't clean this up and you don't stop telling people I'm cheating and lying, then I'm gonna take a kid because you know you're illegal. Woo, woo, woo. So that's why Corman never left. He had a hold over her. And it is just so many things that Corey has, I guess, fabricated a lot about from the uh, from the house and getting evicted. Now you got now you got receipts that y'all were evicted, one paying on this and just a lot. It's just a lot. So now it's like, what is real and what's not real? And not only that, Lady comes out now and she's just like, I just wish things were different. Everyone deserves to be happy and everyone deserves love. Everyone's story is different. Am I the biggest fan of my story? No. But that doesn't mean I should abandon it. She then goes on and she says, I'm not gonna lie, it sucks to have to go through all this ridicule and the drama because I fell for someone. Like my feelings are disregarded and invalidated. And it is starting to take a toll on me. This is hell, I still choose you, but don't let me down. I don't think people are invalidating her feelings and not caring about her. It was her always placing herself in the camera while Corey was talking down on the- You should have sat your ass down on, on the side. Mother of or I should have told him to get off live. Or don't mess with a man that's 
sitting on live downing and just rolling up under the bus. His wife. Why you think he'd do something different to you? Children, while Corey was on live doing certain things, like you just sitting there like the happy girlfriend, like, yeah, girl, you lost him, now I got him. Like he was doing and saying things, degrading the mother of his children, who is still his wife, and you're sitting there like the new bitch, like, yeah, he ain't gonna do it to me. He ain't gonna do it to me, but he did it to you. Like, that's what it was giving. You didn't have to say it, it's what it was presented as. You know what I'm saying? Then this is a man who put his his wife, the mother of his children's news on the internet, and it's like you're saying nothing. Not once have you said, Corey, you are wrong publicly. Not once have you said, Corey, I think you should stop if you're gonna speak out. It's like every time you speak out, it's, Oh, well, I ain't got nothing to do that. Y'all ain't to mind y'all business. I don't understand why the internet is this. Why the internet worried about that? It's like you're disregarding all the things he has said and done to this woman, the mother of his children, but now you want everybody to respect your feelings, understand you have feelings. What about Carmen's feelings? What about what he has said to her for the past six months? Oh no, like I said, I still, I still fuck with Cora. I... I would be like, look, I got a date you on the low. <laughs> Unless this way you get this divorce. Definitely would have dated him on the low. Everything is satellite. We can fuck on the side. I honestly, no, I wouldn't have. I would have left him alone. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I would have left him alone simply because you're not about to keep talking about your wife every time we together, bro. Like, and I'm not insecure either. It's that's just annoying. Why why do I have to every time I come to kick it with you? Or at this point you stand with me anyway, so we just with each other all the time. And every time I turn around you on live talking about your wife. Yeah, I don't think that's an insecurity. That's just annoying. Like I could be with a nigga if I were a woman, clearly that was dating men. I could be with a nigga who you know, is all about me. You're not all about me. You're all about your wife. And you kind of with me for whatever reason. Uh-uh. Nope. Let me just ride this on the low. You know what I'm saying? But no, go ahead and be your making good, baby. Yeah, hey, do what you do. I don't know. If it ain't about me, let's keep the case. Next for the Shig Honey Ice Tea, we have Safari and Mina. So Safari went on to a podcast and he expressed how his breakup with Nicki Minaj really affected his mental health. Would you say your biggest struggle or obstacle you ever had to overcome? Like, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat shit. Like, I was with Nicki, we broke up. So her fans and certain people, they just wanted it to be like, okay, they're not together no more. F him, let him be nothing. Let him disintegrate, let him disappear. Whatever. But nine, 10 years later, yeah, 10, 10, 15 TV shows later, a lot of music out later, doors up later, cribs like, I'm still here. And you know, some people don't like that. They're like, damn, why are you still paying attention to this? When me and Nikki first broke up and she got with Meek and they were like the biggest in the world and we was all beefing and shit. You gotta think about it, I had two of the biggest people in the world like against me. So that made everybody be against me right the whole and industry. yeah so it was like nobody wanted to be next to me nobody wanted to like work with me or none of that so it just made everything hard and i was like that was like that was that was a dark time for me you know what i'm saying that's like that really affected you do you wish like you had a kept your relationship with nikki a secret even nobody knew until after the fact you know what i'm saying right yeah. there huh? were rules like you guys you you couldn't like kiss in person or like show affection. Hell no. So I guess that didn't sit right with Erica and she came into the shade mm. room and she said, I will forever be embarrassed that I gave sus <laughs> these incredible, beautiful children. He don't even talk or care this much about his seed online or even in real life. And I was just like, okay. And I ain't gonna lie, I wish Erica I can't say I wish she leave it alone because clearly she's the one who's living this, but like she just make herself sound more bitter and bitter each day. Each each uh time she talks about it. Let's hush. Because they asked him what was his biggest struggle. So do you want his children 
to be his struggle? That's not what they asked him. His struggle was the breakup of him and Nikki, because like he said, Nikki and me were the biggest thing right at that time. And so all of their fans were just attacking him, attacking. Do you not know how that can bother somebody if you're not prepared for that or if you're not mentally strong enough to deal with We know how the barbs go. You got mad because he didn't say he missed you or that you were something hard to get over. Somebody said he could say the sky is blue and she gonna say, well, your son had <laughs> Well, your son had on a blue shirt yesterday. You didn't even care about that. <laughs> like, come, come on. So then she goes and she says, she goes and she says this time. Now she say he don't take care of children. The kids have the clothes, whatever it is they need. Woo, woo, woo. Girl, this man told you, when they are with you, they are with you. He don't. Fuck the hair, fuck this, fuck that. When they are with him, they are with him. He, he, you want this man to call you and fuss and... I don't think he's wrong for that. I don't think he's wrong for that. About every little thing. You want him to call... You, you want to be able to call him and say, hey, they need their hair done. Or you want him to call and say, what do they need now? Like he said, to keep things down from you and him. When they're with you, they're with you. They're with him. There with him. The only time that he wants to talk and communicate with you is if it's about health, a hospital, or something like that. And if we really gonna be technical about the situation, let's get down to the nitty gritty. And so since that was a problem in his life and a struggle that he was going through, which causes trauma, let's just say so since he was getting over that, he You said he is wrong for that? Why, Kim? Wasn't fully healed. He was still a hurt man. He was going through this. He was going through that. So then he got with Erica as a broken man because he didn't allow himself to heal. Now he got with her, fucked her up because now she's still going through trauma. She still ain't healed because what she did when she did that response was a trauma response because he did trauma to her because he actually finally now said, that was my struggle. I got over that. So then when she responded, oh, well, you don't do this and you don't do that. So now she's struggling in, in a trauma response that she did, which means now she needs to heal. So when she heals, she won't be giving off that response so she could understand that's what he was going through. So he came to me when he was broken. Now I'm broken. Now I'm going through it. That's why you have to heal before you get with somebody because then you can break. Y'all, okay, I'm waiting on you to respond, but like, if we're if it's if we're two adults who can handle our candle, when you when they with me, I got this. When they with you, you got that. Now the question is, does he have her on full? Does he have them full time? Does she have them full time? As a real parent, don't matter where the kid is, you are still a parent. But he's not saying he's not a parent. He's saying I'm taking care of them when they in my possession. I'ma handle that. When they in my possession, you handle what you handle when they in your possession. I don't I don't think anything is wrong with that. Because if you got them and I'm, I know she wasn't, I know she ain't trying to give them, give the babies to him full time. Same thing over here. You're not getting them full time. So when they hear I got to handle that. Excuse me, we got to handle whatever is going on. So when they over here, we handle that. When they with him, he handle that. But they're older too, so he can cash out, call, swing by, come get them, shit like that. But when they babies, baby babies like that, and I can't talk to you and have a cordial conversation, I'm going to handle what I handle when they over here, and you handle what you handle when they over there, especially if you don't want to give them to me full time. You got to deal with it then. If you don't want to give them to me full time, feed them when, when they over there. If you got them for seven days or if you got them for five days and I got them for two, you want them for five. Feed them for five, period. When I call you for something about the kids, wherever they at, he need to do something. We're going to agree to disagree. I'm not saying that he don't need to do anything. What I am saying, though, is some women absolutely aren't the easiest to work with when it comes to uh, a man trying to do whatever he needs to do for the kids. Y'all, we talking about Erica. 
You think that conversation is like, hey, I need $200 for their birthday this week. You got me? That's not that. Nigga, you need to come over here and do what you need to do with your, for your fucking kids, nigga. You a fucking bum. You a stupid ass nigga. Why the fuck you ain't coming over here to handle what you need to handle for your kids? Da, da, da. I don't want to. Boop, boop, boop. When they with me, I'm going to handle that. Don't nobody want to hear that. So let me just say I'm talking about Erica then. If you're a woman who needs help, and you clearly tell me you need help. And then my kids, you get whatever you need. Period. Here you go. Blew it. It was in your account before you even got damn ex. But Erica, yeah, we, we talking about Erica. <laughs> like, nothing is calm about her. Nothing is. Come on now. I don't blame. In, in, in their situation, I don't blame them. I don't care how I talk, come get the kids. I don't think that's the problem of coming to get them. She's talking about money. And sometimes, I mean, this goes real deep. Sometimes the other parent think that parent need to love them the way they love them. And we don't even love the same things. Y'all, this shit is a lot. And I understand. She was actually talking about hair. She was talking about the baby's hair. I'm confused. My thing is, I don't think she's struggling to get her hair done. Honey sauce, you know damn well, if you needed to get one of their hairs done, you just going to do it. Are we going to wait for his $200? Are we going to wait for his $300? I agree. Some women aren't the easiest. However, being a parent is an everyday thing. I agree. But if the kids are in his care for a longer amount of time, it gets handled. Yes. So is he not doing their hair or is he not doing the daughter's hair when she's with him? Cause don't they have a daughter and a son? Am I tripping? If hair was such an issue, she should have done it before they went to him, period. So the baby must have came back with her hair not being done. Is what it sounds like. I feel like we had this conversation all the time with these men not getting these babies' hair done, especially the girls. I feel like, too, though, what was the situation we was talking about, y'all, with a YouTuber, if I'm not mistaken, who was mad that the baby hair wasn't done but didn't want the person that he was with to do the baby hair? Y'all remember that? Whoever the person was, because CJ and royalty, thank you. Why the baby hair ain't done? You don't want Nike and the baby hair. You don't want the other lady who he was dating, baby, and... Uh, uh, hands in the baby hair so <laughs> you know what I'm saying oh he get the hair done and then she like who did it that's so stupid y'all this is stupid and this is what I'm saying like everybody's just not easy to work with Kia I feel like you are easy to work with you know what I'm saying <laughs> like I, I, I feel like wasn't that a problem with him? Yeah, with him too, yes. That was a problem with him too. Um, royalty and him. But I just, I feel like if you're a woman that's easier to work with, things will go easier. And if you're a woman that's not that easy to work with, things won't. And sometimes y'all just make it hard for yourselves in general and nobody even have to be the problem. You know what I'm saying? But let's just continue. Break somebody else. Heal. It's always good to take your time after a breakup or a situation so you can heal yourself. Jesus Christ. All right. If it ain't about me, Erica, 
go get some H E L P. Next, Kelly. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Dwayne Way and Cameron. So Dwayne Way had went onto CBS Morning and he talked about his new nail care line that he wanted to do with his daughter, right? I'm actually thinking about jumping into the nail line. Like, oh really? World. I mean, this whole this whole messy Monday is about to get copyrighted. Thinking about it. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Like, I've been in it so long, and I'm like, you know what? It could be a good time, but I got some cool ideas that I'm exploring. I don't know why what another man decides to do affects other men so much that they just have to always talk about it or feel some type of way. So Cameron was on a podcast. I would not give a damn if that man wanted to have a nail care line, a, a curl line, a weave line. Who cares? And they asked him about Dwayne Wade's line. And why are people not understanding that it's good to get your nails done? <laughs> like, nails, this this is a necessity. Like, you you have to keep your nails clean. It helps with diabetes. I mean, the list kind of goes on. My thing is I'm a big stepper behind my daughter, but I feel like her dad needs to step just as hard regardless of what I'm going to do. And you are absolutely right, Kia. I understand. I feel the same. So, you know, I get it. But yeah, nails, come on now. This is what he did. And then before we go, we got to discuss Dwayne Wade. So he reveals he's considering creating a nail care line. He oh said one of his favorite pastimes is getting <laughs> manicures with his daughter. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's us. What happened to get paid? Young? Get paid, get paid, young, get paid. <laughs> now, bitch, that is stupid to me. Why the fuck you get up and walk off, you dumb bitch? If you really want to be real about the situation, women are consumers. Makeup is one of the biggest money Hello? makers out there. Then you got hair care. Why wouldn't he do something with nails? Fuck that, that's money. It's smart. Chrissy, what I mean is it helps prevent it, does it not? To keep them clean? I know damn well if you have diabetes, you absolutely cannot get your nails done. I mean, doesn't it prevent it? Or am I just wrong? Stupid. Men be so worried. Because if I am, tell me. About another man. And then on top of that, how you worried about him doing a nail care line? And then when your stupid ass get up, dummy, you grab your purse. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Chrissy. I won't ever say it again. The bitch, that purse. Girl, I'm worried about him doing a nail care line, and then when your stupid ass get up, dummy, you grab your purse. Girl, you grab a whole purse and walk them out. Give Yo, a fuck about it being a man. He ass. absolutely swung that purse. I mean, if he had some hair, it would have went with it. I'm just. You grabbed a whole purse yes, trying to embarrass stop. somebody else about nails, oh but you got God. a whole pocketbook. Oh my Shut God. the fuck up. <laughs> you got a whole goddamn pocketbook, <laughs> and then you worried about somebody making a nail care line. He making Yo. a nail care line to make money. You carry the pocketbook. Oh, that pocketbook is taking me out. Look, bitch. What's wrong with you? You try to embarrass another person, but you come out looking dumb. <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's get Yo. Oh, my all God. All right, child. Well, yeah. that's all I got for the sugar honey ice tea. Let's Ooh, get into this mess. First of all, we have Eric Whitehead and Sweet Gates. <laughs> now, let's just make it clear. This is... Girl, that pocketbook took me out. <laughs> no relation to Bishop Whitehead. <laughs> because if that was T, I would have been like, oh, girl, everything he's saying a lie. I don't even want to hear. But there ain't no kin. Let me catch you up. Follow the story. Okay, so Sierra had went and she bought a car from a car dealership, whatever the case may be, knowing that the man she was getting the car from was one of his old working buddies, you know, his business partners. That was already causing commotion in their home when she was with Eric. Stay with me now. So she posted up. He was getting tagged, Eric, and people were sitting to him saying, look at this. Look what she doing. So he said, okay, I'm going to be funny. And he congratulated her on her new car, whatever the case may be. Even said something about the guy. I'm so happy my old business partners are getting money. My ex moved on. Hey, I'm winning. Thank God. So he was really being funny because, like, you're with his old business partner. 
that you already knew was messy. And you posted, you could have just posted, I got a car, but you posted it with the man that you. So when he did that, she tried to play victim. And she came out and she posted this. Can y'all tell Eric to leave me and my fiance alone? He continuously posted pictures. It's embarrassing and it is. So she used to date. She used to date. The person that she used to date was friends with the person she's engaged to. Is that is that the thing? Crazy. I just want to be left alone. He's in a whole relationship with Sheree at her house in her pool, posting, seeking, looking for a way to get back on TV. From a successful woman, leave me alone, take no. it like a G. So what's going on? I'm confused. So what it really sounds like is she low-key feeling some type of way about him and Sheree, whatever the case may be. Woo, woo, woo. So she like, okay, well, since he's taking pictures and he posted in her pool and in her house, whatever the case may be, then I'm going to do what I'm doing. So they really just playing tit for tat. So what this he did now was he responded because people were saying, yeah. yeah, you are harassing her. You are doing this. Leave this woman alone, whatever the case may be. But I guess people didn't know that that was his old business partner. And this is what he said. I was minding my business. The Sunday fun day, and um, I'm getting a bunch of texts and calls. Eric Whitehead explains his previous Instagram story post after he's called out by his ex. Calls as I'm chilling, eating brunch, <clears throat> and it was more or less about a car deal from my old business partners who I actually put on with my old company, who we beefing about. We ain't even beefing. I ain't gonna say beef, but you know we solved our differences. We don't fuck with each other no more. It is what it is. And um, obviously, cool, it's 20,000 dealerships in the United States. Why go to my old business partners who you know we had issues with to go buy a car and then tag me like you're doing something big? I, I, I just said, congratulations. You have every right to get a car from whoever you want to get a car from. That's my standpoint. Like, I'm like, congratulations. I'm happy everybody's getting money. Everybody's doing what they need to do. I thought that was a player thing to, to, to say. You know, congratulations, whatever the case may be. And... It came from a genuine place. Like, congratulations. I'm happy. You got a car. You doing deals. Cool. Everybody's good. Let's move on. God is good. That's it. Why would he post that? That wasn't play at all. It wasn't even needed. And what happened was I reposted it. It went left. And now I'm this and that and that. Nah, that's, that's never what it was. And that's not what it's going to be. And at the same time, right? If I'm doing all this stalking and all this shit that everybody's saying, right, which is not true, how does anybody know who I'm dating or who I'm fucking with? That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense at all. Huh? And then the, the, the post, right, <clears throat> about dodging a bullet, yeah. When you get out, anybody get out of a bad situation, bad relationship, we always feel like we dodge a bullet, yeah. It was a lot that came with it. I don't care about this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I can't even get into it. He getting up sick because he posting what he posting. So now she posts what she posting. Now they just both posting trying to get at each other. When I guess they're not really over each other. Because why are both of y'all looking at each other's pages anyway? And if y'all aren't looking at each other's pages, why are friends sending you these things? You need to start removing the friends who are sending you messing. stuff. Because his friends sent him her stuff. Because he's messing with Cherie. Uh, housewives. But what that got to do with her? Are they friends? Ain't that two different shows? Ain't uh, Sierra Love and Hip Hop? Are they friends or something? Oh, they are friends. Oh, well, damn. Okay, so it's like, nigga, I'm messing with one of your people. You messing with one of my people. Girl, next. <laughs> I guess her friends sent her his stuff. So, like, what's going on? How y'all feel with the other one doing? Just block each other and move on. Period. That's, it's that simple. I don't know, girl. If you ask me, the business partner and Sheree better watch out because it seems like these two ain't really over each other because they still worried about who posted what, who doing what, and who's with who, and who's doing what, 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 what's what. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep getting this game. Next on the docket, we have Sister B and Ice Spice versus Matt. Now, see, I told y'all last week that this was a PR relationship between him and Ice Spice. So they say, I really do believe he really be fucking these girls, but he play it off as it's a PR relationship. I don't know, whatever the case may be, y'all do what y'all do, but bitch, I ain't stupid because he was already cheating this girl several times before. Anyway, so um, come to find out 
this was just supposed to get the song seen her with all the drama that surrounded it because another girl came out and she said what she said he's doing to i spice like your whole brand is using girls huh and and you don't want to pay them he didn't pay me a dime for obsessed with you can you actually imagine that video got 150 million views so you want me to sleep with your artist but you don't want to pay me for any of the videos i've done you want to use me and suck me dry and you want to embarrass me online for your marketing huh friend you let no come on now from that day i knew he was getting no tun -tun. Because are you are you actually done? Oh, they didn't do it. Oh. And then not only her, Madeline came out and she said what well, she said. This is the girlfriend now. Girls, you told me to stand up, so I'm standing up. Let me tell you how I did not know that any of this was gonna f***ing happen. Let me take you guys back a couple months. I'm laid up in bed with Pookie, and he comes to me, and he's like, I have a new song to show you. And I'm like, yes, yeah, serenade me. I'm like, ready to hear some poetry. And then he plays me his verse. I'm like, what? Not only did you just snitch on yourself that you're cheating, but you just told me exactly how. Give me your f***ing phone. Are you telling me ZK Trappy 69 with the wet emoji is not your childhood friend? But he tells me it's just marketing and I know how the internet works, so I just forget about it. A while later, he tells me that he wants to hire an influencer to do like a lip syncing video to one of his older songs. And I'm like, okay, makes sense. Then he's like, I'm gonna send her a car because she asked for one. I was like, okay, makes sense. He didn't tell me he was sending her his personal car to start a dating rumor with her. I was with you guys knees deep in that comment section asking if we were still together. I tried to have a conversation with him about it and all he kept saying was, all right. <laughs> At this point, I'm starting to realize, oh, this is why girls don't date rappers. So I call my team and they're like, Madeline, he just started a dating rumor with another girl. Aren't you supposed to be going to Nigeria with him in two days? This is going to be multiple. And this is when it clicks. This is not a vacation. I have just entered this man's marketing scheme. So I say I'll still come to Nigeria based on the one condition that none of the professional pictures that are taken of us get posted because... Ain't no way. I don't see how y'all go out of town with people y'all don't trust. You know, you already be debating on going on a damn vacation anyway, especially the way times are now. But it's like... Mm, I'll stay. I'll stay. I don't have time for that shit. I'm going somewhere else. I've just realized what is I'm happening. And I don't want to be seen with this guy. I understand that rapper boyfriend has promotional activity to do. I just don't want to lose the last shred of my dignity. Shocker, oh the pictures get out. Guys, if I had known I was going to be photographed like that, I would have put on some concealer. Lesson from the jet skis. Although I actually clearly didn't learn anything. So now I'm seeing these ugly pictures of me come out. I'm getting flamed by my friends. And my work is calling me, Madeline, we told you not to do one thing. Get photographed with him. So you guys remember the song? I then remember he also gave me a release date for the song. And I'm realizing that it's only like a month and a bit away. And Yeah, because I'm... Some of this shit, I don't give a goddamn about. On my story. I thought rapper boy fell out. Okay. <laughs> this ain't even a good and TikTok. I, I, also have I think all this shit just fake. I think Madeline faking too. I think she faking too because at the end of the day she said, um, then go over to my YouTube and see me react to the video. Now why we gotta do that? Now we give video, the video plays. Bitch, we ain't dumb. She in on the hook cahoots too. Bitch, they all just fucking playing and trying to make money and getting hype around the song. Y'all ain't fooling me. Him and Madeline gonna be right back together because it really ain't shit. He, he do, to be honest, he probably do what he do. She knew what she signed up for. He come back, love on her, and then do it again. Girl, just say you just not leaving that man because you want the coin, girl. You ain't going nowhere. And it is what it is, girl. Until you do what they told you to do, stand up and stop getting humiliated then he gonna keep doing the cycle, girl. And it is what it is. And I ain't got nothing else to say because, bitch, you know what's going on. You know what you signed up for. Shut up. Why are you making a video? Okay. Dummy. Okay. <laughs> if, it, <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next on the docket, we got Rissa and Juan. 
Now, this took people by surprise because we were just like, hold on, did they just have a baby or something like that? It's like every time folks have a baby, shit go down here. That's what all be know when y'all be getting pregnant because it's like that shit be fucking up y'all relationships. But anyway, they don't took to the internet and they said they don't go together no more, child. They just over with, done with, for these those eyes, y'all. I'm like, what? So one took his Instagram and he wrote single for life on my sister. <clears throat> and the streets were saying, child, he don't play by his sister because that's his deceased sister. So they said if you put it on her, then he know he ain't lying. But I'm over here like, okay, well, if she's deceased and he really put on her and then he didn't stand on business, then okay. it really don't matter because she gone. You know, like, not like some of y'all folks who be like, oh, my mama, and then your mama's still here. We got to be like, damn, check on mama. Is she good? You get what I'm saying? Anyway, what else? So then after that, he said, fuck it. I tried my best. Woo, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the folks go and then they look and they see that they unfollowed each other. And that's when shit seemed like, okay, is this real? But when you fucking with YouTubers, you got to understand, sometimes this shit be pranks. Is your money running low? Are your views going down? What can you do to get these people to get back engagement with you? Bless that we broke up. We just had a baby, so we know they gonna come and look. So the girls are still speculating what's really going on because we knew that they was going out of town on a vacation. So I got all breaking up and y'all on vacation. So people then noticed that, okay, one took all his pictures of him and Risa down, but she didn't take hers down. So we're like, okay, what's really going on? So that's the folks are saying, okay, so maybe she cheated because all his shit gone, but she's still up. So why he mad, but she ain't mad. So they like, okay, all oh, that is cheating. That's what's really going on when she cheated. So then he put on his story, stay single if you love hard. People don't love that kind of love anymore. Then he come back around and he said, uh, I don't trust no. I ain't gonna lie, from what he keeps insinuating, it do sound like she cheated. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but that's alleged because I don't know, but uh, it sound like it. Right. So that's when the folks get to talking like, what's really fucking going on? What's the tea? What the happened? Like, somebody needs to say something. So then she tried to throw a little curveball in there. She posted pictures up of her and him on the trip, whatever the case may be. I'm like, wait a minute, girl. Everybody like, okay, wait a fucking minute. He was talking about on his sister. This and that, he done, he single. But then he go and post by himself. Like, hold up, bitch, I'm by myself. Fuck this shit. So she posting them, he posting by himself. Okay, y'all playing now at this point. Stop. Like, just stop. So then he come out and he said, okay, look, I'm not trying to play no social media games or anything like that with y'all. I'm not trying to confuse. And what's the problem? Like, and I mean, I know things happen in a relationship, but I wonder, like, what's wrong? You know what I mean? What's wrong? Anybody. He said, so since she want to post like this shit is a game, I have no choice but to say, it is over. We are done. The only reason I'm not airing everything out is for respect for my kids and to spare her. So then I'm like, okay, maybe this might be real because I don't know, let's just wait and see. So then she come out and she say, she said, guys, you know, we don't ever do anything like this on social media. Things are just a little out of hand. Emotions are just coming into play, which is why all this snaps? is happening Send right a now. Link. Everyone just needs to get a clear mind and give it some time. And I'm just like, okay, the way she talking is like, girl, you know you fucked up. You did something and he's mad. Now, if I'm really gonna call a spade a spade, it seems like they were on vacation. When you're on vacation, you have fun. You're wearing, you know, things that might show the body. There's other people there who might not know y'all together. I'm feeling she might have been having some drinks. He was not around her. He walks up. He sees a guy. Some guy was probably talking to her, whatever the case may be. Or she might have got a number on the trip and was texting somebody. Whatever the case may be, I don't think she physically cheated, but I think she did some things that's considered cheating, maybe. I think he went through that phone. It's given like on vacation, she in the shower. Eh, I'm waiting on her to come out of the shower. Phone right here. Zzz, zzz. It's given he went through that phone. <laughs> I could be wrong, but that's what it seemed like. Flirting with someone on the trip. Because it happened on a trip and he's saying this. Or maybe she didn't appreciate something she he did for her on a trip. Or she was probably acting ungrateful. <laughs> I don't know. It's something of that nature. So then after all is said and done and people are wondering what's going on. That'll be the time I ain't doing that shit. 
Bitch, hey, you left your phone. You left your phone. You ain't about to ruin my vacation. Hell no. Why people like to beef out of town? Don't you know we the only people who can help each other? <laughs> they don't got time for that. They're coming home from the trip. People were saying that they saw the family <laughs> in the airport, but Quan uh, wasn't there. Uh, it was just her uh, and children. Uh, Another person said, my sister said the same thing. Let's handle it in the room at home. Me up there, boy. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. Someone told her, girl, uh, what you doing? What's the tea? She telling people stay out of her business. Well, girl, we wouldn't be in your business. Y'all don't bring us your business. So we're supposed to pictures back at home, but she by herself because it looks like Quan is over at his mama house saying, ain't nothing like mama's cooking. So, child, I don't know. And then not only that, her family is on following him. Sooner or later, I do believe it's going to come out. So we're going to just keep an eye <laughs> on it. But, baby, I don't know, child. We're going to see. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep in this case. Next to the docket, we have Trump. Nope. All right, y'all, his video got age-restricted, and I can only imagine it's because of this, because nothing else in this video is age-restriction-worthy. So we're going to go ahead and end it right here. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.